Hi! In this lesson, we'll learn about some of the different ways that AI is created and used. In the last lesson, we learned that artificial intelligence is a computer system that is able to perform tasks that ordinarily require human intelligence. We learned that AI is created using algorithms, which train computers how to learn and process information. In this lesson, we'll take a deep dive into some of the different types of algorithms and processes that are used to develop artificial intelligence. We can think of AI as a concept or principle that categorizes different types of algorithms. Certain types of algorithms are categorized as AI because they enable machines to make intelligent decisions. Within the field of AI, there are subcategories of algorithms. One such category is machine learning. Machine learning algorithms use statistics to help find patterns in data. It then uses those patterns to make predictions and assessments. Let's use a music sharing company as an example. Suppose they wanted to devise a program that recommended music to listeners. One implementation could look at users' music history and track how many listens a specific genre of music gets. As a user listens to music, they keep track of the total number of listens across a variety of genres. Once there's enough data, machine learning algorithms are able to find trends in the data, grouping data that seems to match a user's behavior. They can then make song recommendations based on songs in the genres that match a user's preferences and leave out the genres that a user doesn't frequently listen to. This form of machine learning is an example of unsupervised learning. Unsupervised learning is when algorithms are able to group data and find patterns on their own. They are fed a bunch of data and determine the relationships in the data without needing any other input. In contrast to unsupervised learning, supervised learning is the process of training algorithms to make predictions using testing data, where the outcome of a specific event is already determined. Programmers give algorithms data so that it can make predictions based off the data it's been trained on. Let's imagine that the same music company wants to sell premium versions of their service. They want to figure out which users are most likely purchasing their product, so they decide to analyze this likelihood based on users' age. Since they don't have data about a user's spending habits before they sign up for the music service, they have to make an educated guess about whether they will buy the premium service. They do this by feeding the supervised learning algorithm with data from people whose spending habits on the site are already known. Data from other music services or surveys or past data collection on the site is input to the algorithm by programmers, indicating a user's age and the money spent on premium music services. The algorithm then finds patterns in the provided data. In this case, it makes a line of best fit. When a new user joins the site, the algorithm is now able to determine how much money they are most likely to spend based on their age. When the user enters their age, the program is able to match that age with a particular spending habit based on its existing data. Depending on their spending, they can recommend different products or pricing options to that user. Machine learning represents a large portion of AI algorithms, so much so that there are subsets of algorithms within machine learning. One such set is neural networks. Neural networks are algorithms that mimic the operation of a human brain to recognize relationships between data. Neural networks consist of layers of artificial neurons that work together to produce an output. Let's take a deeper look at this. Just like our other machine learning algorithms, neural networks use data input. Training data is sent through what is known as the input layer so that it can be further analyzed. This data is sent to a hidden layer. This hidden layer is where all of the calculations are done behind the scenes. Each node within the hidden layer is a mathematical function. We can think of each of these nodes as one of our supervised or unsupervised machine learning algorithms that is attempting to make predictions about the data that's being input. When data is sent to a hidden layer node, the node computes the significance of that output. It does so by applying a specific weight and bias to the inputs. This process allows the node to determine how important a specific input is in relation to a given output. For example, a node might try to understand how important or relevant age is to determining a person's music genre choice. Each node will give age a different weight in attempting to understand just how important it is in determining the correct output. These weights are originally assigned randomly to a node, indicating that it's unaware of the relationship between the input and the eventual output. If the input meets a certain threshold, 
meaning the weight of the specific input is high enough or important enough, then the output is sent to the next node. The result of each successful node is then sent to the output layer, which computes an output based on the various node data that it's sent. This process is repeated until the weight of each input generates an accurate output. Each time that the neural network is trained, the weight of each node adjusts slightly, trying to determine the correct weight or importance of each input in a specific system. As the questions and data that we feed these systems get more complex, additional hidden layers need to be added to the neural network to better compute accurate outcomes. Neural networks with many hidden layers are considered deep neural networks. The depth refers to the number of hidden layers that a neural network possesses. While machine learning makes up a large subset of AI algorithms, natural language processing is another important subset. Natural language processing, or NLPs, are algorithms that help machines derive meaning from words and speech. The meaning is then used to execute other algorithms to help address the specific question or demand that's being requested. Let's consider an online help center. People write in to the help center to get information from a chatbot, which is programmed using a natural language processor. A person writes in with an urgent question. They need help pretty immediately. The natural language processor in this chatbot is able to extract and classify the text to determine what the appropriate response should be. In this case, it scanned the request and found two phrases that are particularly important. The algorithm has been programmed to determine the urgency of a specific request and respond based on the level of urgency. In this case, the phrase help ASAP has been given a score of 95%, meaning that it's a very urgent matter. When messages are this urgent, the chatbot has been programmed to reach out to customer support. The chatbot responds, indicating that a support person is going to be notified and that they can await a response from a human to address this. Another user might write in with a less urgent matter. The NLP scans the message and notes two phrases. It determines the urgency of these two phrases, which it determines is rather low. It's important to note that the NLP could be pre-programmed to recognize these phrases as this urgent or it has learned to designate these two phrases as less urgent based on previous experience. Either way, it recognizes that this isn't a pressing matter and responds accordingly. In this case, it sends the user some articles to peruse, asking the user to indicate if those articles are helpful. At this point, the natural language processor actually relies on machine learning. Machine learning is often used with NLPs so that they learn from their interactions. When the user responds, that response can be categorized. Based on the response, the chatbot can track how positive the response is based on the article that they sent. The chatbot is now learning which articles should be sent depending on the question that it's being asked. It's in this way that machine learning and NLP, as well as other types of AI, are used in conjunction with one another to produce a meaningful and intelligent result. While machine learning and natural language processing algorithms make up a substantial portion of AI algorithms, there are other important subsets that help advance the field of AI. As we continue to understand and develop AI algorithms, it's also likely that new subsets are developed and used, helping to further improve our interactions with artificial intelligence. Now that you've learned about a few subsets of AI, it's your turn to explore them a bit further.